Hello, so at this specific project, our client hired us to install the plants with the gopher wire, the irrigation, removal of the soil, grading, but not everything was delegated to us. We are very flexible when it comes to doing landscape projects. A lot of our clients like to do jobs uh, themselves. So in this case, the client, you know, consulted with us of how to install the gravel, the bark, the pavers, and the fence. So we consulted with the client, told him, you know, what proper steps to take in order for him to do it. We're more than capable of consulting and just doing specific projects where you do need help. So we um, did the irrigation work here. As you can see, there is a backflow preventer, a pressure regulator, and some shutoff valves to stop the water from flowing into the irrigation, uh, such as in an emergency leak or so. We installed a hose bib here and we have a large irrigation valve box with valves inside. So there's currently one irrigation valve installed. However, there are other PVC pipes there ready uh, for additional valves to be installed for the front yard landscape. We also have an emergency ball valve, as you can see with the red handle. Um, if there any of the valves are leaking or the irrigation is having issues, you can shut off the ball valve right before the irrigation valve and prevent having to shut off your house water plumbing. And that's very important because when there's a leak, you still need to use the house water for showering, um, doing the laundry, doing any activities that need water, and you can still have water at your house even if you have a, a problem out in your irrigation. So it's really important to divide the house plumbing and the irrigation plumbing completely separate 